Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bilal and you are watching Simplified Codec. In the last video, we have done with the user registration and we have created a couple of users in our Firebase application. And if you want to see the number of users registered in your application, you can go to Firebase console and inside authentication, you can see the, the users that are registered in your application and you can also add a new user from here and you can also let user register to, to your application and we have done this thing in the last video okay so in this video we will see the login part so after registration user will login and before moving to login the first thing I would like to tell you I got a query in the previous video the query was if the user is already registered then how would you can show the error message that this email is already registered so this was the code that we written in last video so if the task is not successful that means it will come inside the else block and inside else block you can check the error so task if the task is not successful the reason may be that the email is already registered and there may be other reasons as well. So if you want to check particularly that the email is already registered, you can write here if task dot get result dot oops, task dot get exception dot or you can directly write here if task dot get exception is an instance of firebase auth uh, let's say user collision exception this is the exception so if the exception occurred as a firebase auth user collision exception that means the email is already registered So we can write here toast make text get application context then you are already registered or you can put any message then the length of the toast and just display the toast that's it and we can write an else as well and inside else we can display another toast so we can display the exception that has occurred actually so for this we can write task dot get exception dot get message that's it so you can do this way to know that the user is already registered let me show you so this email is already registered so let's try with this email we will go to sign up let's put the email and let's put the password one two three four five six click on sign up and you see you are already registered so this is how you can check the email is already registered or not now let's move to the login part and we will do the login and we will do the login here uh, inside main activity so come here and we will attach on click listener to the login button as well so we'll write find view by id r dot id dot button login and then set on click listener and we will pass this now we have another case case r dot id dot button login now here we can call a method like user login now let's create this method Now here also we need a firebase auth object first so we will write firebase auth m auth then we will initialize it 
m auth equals to firebase auth dot get instance now from this auth we can call sign in method so we have sign in with email and password and it again takes two parameters and the two parameters we will get from the edit text so first we will define the edit text so we have edit text or we can copy it from sign up activity the thing is same so we have edit text email and password and the validation part also we can copy so i will copy till here and we will add a progress bar to this activity as well so let's define a progress bar as well progress bar progress bar and we will copy the progress bar from the sign up activity both activities are identical actually so we have progress bar now let's initialize the progress bar as well so we can write here the sign up activity so we can write here or just copy it so copy everything and paste here so we have the progress bar and edit text email and password so the validation part is done it is the same thing that we did in the previous video now mauth sign in with email and password this is the actual method that will let us sign in to our application now it will again take two parameters the first parameter is the email and the second parameter is the password now if the password matches from what we have in firebase then it will be a successful task so again we will add an on complete listener and here we can write new control space and it will show you an interface on complete listener and you can add it so you don't need to type everything just press control and space and the ide will do it for you now inside this task if we have if task dot is successful that means user successfully logged in in the else part you can print the actual exception that has occurred so you can write uh, let's say toast make text get application context task dot get exception dot get message and then the length and then display it that's it now if the task is successful we can navigate to a different activity which is our uh, which is our profile activity or something like that so let's create a new activity so we will create a new activity here go to activity select empty activity and we will write profile activity now when the task is successful we will open the profile activity so we will create an intent here so let's write intent intent equals to new intent and then again get application context or you can write main activity dot this as well whatever you want then the second parameter is the activity class and that is profile activity so we will write here profile activity dot class that's it now we will add a flag to the intent so that it will clear all the open activities so we'll write add flags and we have clear top so it will clear all the activities on the top of the stack and it will open a new activity we are doing this because if we don't do this when the user will press back button from the profile it will again come to the login activity so we don't want that right so that is why we are adding flags to intent then we will start the intent using start activity method just pass the intent and that's it so we have the login done that's it 
now let's run it one more thing is missing when the user is registered we will open the profile activity directly as when user registers it is already logged in and we also need to add a click event to this text view which will take us to the login activity so come inside sign up and here we will attach the click listener button login oops text view logs text view sign up actually then we will write set on click listener and this and we have both the cases here now when the user registered successful here we will open the uh, profile activity so we will copy this thing again just copy it and paste it here that's it now here we will write sign up activity dot this so we have done with the user registration and login now let's test the login and one more thing i just forget uh, we have to make this progress bar progress bar invisible when the task is completed so we will write progress bar dot set visibility and gone it is very important or, or else you will keep seeing the progress bar so let's run again so we already have an account this time and the email is probilal3 at the rate of gmail.com so we will write it probilal3 at the rate of gmail.com let's click login it is saying password is required so validations are working and let's put the correct password click on login and yes we have the profile activity opened here so right now we have nothing inside the profile activity so the login is working fine the registration is working fine so that's it for this video guys if you found this helpful then please hit on the like button subscribe to my channel and please share this video and in the next video we will create this profile activity and we will learn uh, many things a bunch of things actually and we will learn almost everything about handling users creating ver uh, sending verification emails and resetting passwords managing user profile and a bunch of things so see you guys in the next video